Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to live stream with your Mavic 3 as long as you have the RC Pro receiver, which is the black remote, okay? So you'll go to the link, you'll go to App Stream, all right? And once you're there, right, what you're going to do is you, you, you'll you click the $0 plan because you don't need to pay for it. And then what you'll do is you'll, this part right here will be empty, right? Uh, let's say, for example, I'll delete this one because I can, whoops, I will remove that one and put it back so you can see for the experience. Remove. Okay, you're only allowed two channels. All right, so now I'm going to add it. I'm going to add a channel. I'm going to choose live to Facebook, choose my profile. Make sure if you have a firewall that the firewall is off, otherwise it won't work. The pop-up window won't auto-populate or appear. Your channel has been added. Voila. So it's already on. I have two. If I want to switch between, I can do it like that. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to click on that channel. Edit settings. You can say live with restream. And then, you know, that'll be that. What that, whatever, you know, you could say whatever you wanted to say. What you want to do is you go into uh, that little, your profile right there in the right-hand corner. Click on settings. You see, you see his account, password, billing, payments, stream setup. Click stream setup, see? And then you have it right there. So you have auto detect, make sure that's fine. And then you copy this. So what you do is you're going to open up a new text document. Okay, click on your text and then click new document. All right, and then put that uh, right about there. Copy this and then paste it in and then put a forward slash and then copy this and then paste it in and it'll look something like this. I'm not going to paste it in because that's my special code. Okay, and then you're going to close it. Of course, it's set to save at the desktop by default. I'm going to save it. Okay, and then I probably rename this file later for the second part of the video. I'm going to call this um, live drone footage. So by default, that drone footage is going to be saved as rich text format. So what you're going to want to do is click it, right? You see, and then put, leave the dot there, and then just put dot txt. So it's just saved as a text. And it'll ask you, that's okay. So now it's saved as a rich text document. Okay, so now once you rename that text file, right? What you're going to do is you're going to open up this application. Make sure your RC Pro controller is connected to your computer, Mac or PC, right? And then what you're going to do is you're going to um, download that program called Android File Transfer. Launch it. Once it's launched, right, you're going to go into your download folder. See, I have stream text in there, but for now I'm going to, I'll actually delete that one. Okay, actually, I'll keep that one because that's the working one and put it in. Now you're in the next step. You're going to close the Android file transfer app. See how it quit down there. Uh, and now you're going to go into your RC Pro controller for the setup for the final part so that you'll be able to stream live wherever you go with your drone. Okay, so now with the drone turned on, we're inside the remote, the Pro, the, R the DJI RC Pro remote. Remember, this won't work with the other ones. We're going to select from here, click on the three dots, and then click on transmission. Okay, see at the top where it says live streaming platforms? So I'm going to click it. It's RTMP, right? No networks. So, of course, you have to be connected to the uh, Wi-Fi right so that's where your phone comes in so what you want to do is turn on your phone whether it's iphone or android whatever your device is right and then what you want to do is turn on your your um personal hotspot so once your personal hotspot is on okay we'll leave that screen and we'll just scroll down connect to wi-fi okay so let's see it should connect any minute. Well, there we go. So now it's connected to my phone. I'm going to close my phone, make sure my phone's in my pocket so that the Wi-Fi signal doesn't get lost, right? 
Okay, so now that we've got that done, next what we're going to do is we're going to go back into the RTMF. So if to get back here, remember, you go into transmission, live streaming platform, click on the RTMP. And of course, my feed is already in there. Now, this is the tricky part because um, I already have it in there. So what you to put it to, to for you to get it, what you have to do is just scroll up, actually, just scroll up so that you can go back into your screen, go to files and then click on download. OK, and then you have your stream text. For me, it's going to be the stream text. I'm going to select that one. OK. And then when you have your text, I'll tell you that we'll click it. And then you just hold down, hold down your live stream information. See, it'll just copy it all the way from the RTMP. Copy. OK, now I'm going to scroll out, get rid of that. Go back into this screen, right? And then click on the three little dots. Click on live stream RTMP. Now, if you already have everything in there, that's OK. Just hold it down, select it until you get See, and then paste is when everything's selected, paste has plain text. OK, and then click uh, the if you click the enter, it's not going to work. OK, oops, something went wrong. Try again. So what we want to do is click the back button. You have to customize whatever key you want. So you get a back button. OK, and once you click that, you select which resolution you want 1080p five megabytes per second or three megabytes per second, whichever works for you. I have unlimited data, so I'm going to choose that and then click start. Three, two, one. Again, I don't have many bars left. I have 97%, um, but I don't have many bars left on my remote. Let's see, this should do the trick. I've got my satellite. All right, home points updated. I like to do this before every flight just to make sure I always click on safety and scroll all the way down to update home point. Click OK. Home point updated. Then I fly. OK. And then I'm going to go up all the way up as high as I can, about uh, 150 feet around there, maybe 200. 200 to play it safe. And then we're going to let the drone take off let me see which mode i'm in though i kind of like explore explore this way i can zoom in and out before it worked regularly without having to go into explore go that way and then now the drone's going to fly to the park and that's pretty much it that's how you live streamcast your feed when using your DJI Pro receiver for your Mavic 3. This is really neat because you don't have to use any third-party software and compromise the uh, software integrity. So anyway, I hope this video helped you with your live streamcast and you're better able to share your drone experience with everyone. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. And I'll see you all next time.